Hello, and thank you for joining Frederick County Public Library's Daily Storytime. My name is Miss Amanda. Let's get started. We start all our story times with our hello song, and all we're going to need is our clapping hands. Are you ready? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. We smile and say hello. We smile and say hello. With our friends at story time, we smile and say hello. We wiggle and say hello. We wiggle and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wiggle and say hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. I am all warmed up and ready for today. I hope you are too. Look what I have on my felt board today. I have some pretty big, exciting trucks. They're not green. They're not yellow. They must be red. They are red trucks and they have ladders and sirens. They must be fire trucks. That is so exciting. How many fire trucks are on my felt board today? Can you count with me and see? Here we go. One, two, three fire trucks are on my felt board today. I have a rhyme about my fire trucks. Are you ready? Here we go. Three little fire trucks waiting at the hall. One goes out to answer a call. With siren sounds and lights on bright, off he goes. There's a fire to fight. How many are left? One, two. Two little fire trucks waiting at the hall. One goes out to answer a call. With siren sounds and lights on bright, off he goes. There's a fire to fight. One left. One little fire truck waiting at the hall. He goes out to answer a call. With siren sounds and lights on bright, off he goes. There's a fire to fight. There are no more fire trucks left. I think now there are zero. No little fire trucks waiting at the hall. But here they all come back to their stalls. With sirens quiet and all made right, the three little fire trucks say, Good night. Good night, fire trucks. One, two, three, came back. That is so exciting. I think firefighters are super brave and they're very important in case there's ever a fire emergency. I have a song about pretending to be a firefighter. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm gonna need my fire hat. You can pretend you have one too. Or use any regular hat you might have at home. Here we go. I'm a firefighter dressed in red with my fire hat on my head. I can drive a fire truck and fight fires too and help to make things safe for you. I'm gonna sing it again. Can you join me at home? Great, here we go. I'm a firefighter dressed in red with my fire hat on my head. I can drive a fire truck and fight fires too and help to make things safe for you. Great job, everybody. That brings me to our story for today. Did you know what to do if there's ever a fire near you? Should you run around and act crazy? No. The first and most important thing you need to do if there's a fire is to get out and stay out. Don't stay in a building that's on fire. Once you are out, find a grown-up and call 911 for help. And just in case fire should ever happen to get on your clothes, don't wave your arms around and run around and add more craziness to the situation. What you need to do is stop right there, drop to the floor, and roll back and forth until the fire's out. And that's the title of our book, Stop, Drop, and Roll by Marjorie Kyler. It's illustrated by Arthur Howard. And we'd like to thank the people at Simon & Schuster for letting us share this book with you today. 
stop, drop, and roll. Jessica was a worrier. She worried morning, noon, and night. She worried about her spelling homework and learning new steps in ballet class and remembering to fill her dog's water dish and waking up in time for school. But one Monday morning in October, Jessica's teacher gave her something new to worry about. It's fire prevention week, explained Mr. Martin. So for the next few days, we're going to talk about fire safety. Uh-oh, groaned Jessica. And this Friday, Mr. Martin continued, we've been asked to share what we learned with the entire school. Oh no, moaned Jessica. Let's begin with smoke alarms, said Mr. Martin. Your home should have them on every floor. Automatic fire sprinklers are a good idea too. Smoke alarms, sprinklers, Jessica had never seen either in her house. Your family should also have escape plans in case of a fire, said Mr. Martin, and fire drills so everyone knows what to do. Jessica chewed her pencil in half. Escape plans? Now she was really worried. That night, Jessica announced, there is a big problem in this house. We have no smoke alarms and no sprinkler system. We don't even have an escape plan. If there was a fire, we'd be in trouble. Her mother puckered her forehead. I remember buying smoke alarms, but I guess we never got around to installing them. And we talked about finding someone to put in sprinklers, added dad, but we're always too busy to make an appointment. And what about extra batteries for the alarms, reminded Laura. Yes, said Tom, we need to keep more batteries around here. Jessica twisted her napkin. She knew the real reason Tom wanted more batteries around. His birthday was in three days. He wanted batteries for his presents, but fire safety was more important than birthday toys, wasn't it? We've got to do something about this now, warned Jessica. You're right, said mom. After dinner, we'll make escape plans and find those smoke alarms. And tomorrow I'll get extra batteries and make arrangements for a sprinkler system, said dad. But Jessica still felt too worried to go to sleep. She tossed and turned all night. The next day, Mr. Martin wrote some fire safety rules on the blackboard. Never play with lighters or matches. Keep electric heaters at least three feet away from things that could burn. Keep extension cords away from doorways and from being pinched by furniture. A professional should check the chimneys and furnaces in your homes each year. Blah, blah, blah. Mr. Martin went on and on until Jessica had to cover her ears. She'd never be able to remember so many things. At dinner, Jessica asked, have we ever had our chimney checked? Yes, answered dad, when we bought the house. But Mr. Martin said it should be checked every year, said Jessica, the furnace too. Dad sighed, I'll put them on my list of things to do. But that didn't stop Jessica from worrying. She went through the entire house checking cords and smoke alarm batteries. And she had another sleepless night imagining all the things that could go wrong. On Wednesday, Mr. Martin had even more fire safety rules. Heat makes smoke rise. So if you're in a fire, you must crawl under the smoke where the air is cleaner. And when you reach a door, touch it. If it feels cool, it's safe to open. Jessica tugged at a barrette. What if the door felt warm? What should I do then? If the door's warm, continued Mr. Martin, don't open it. Find a window and call for help. Then wait for a firefighter to come and tell you what to do. And there's one more very important thing you need to know, said Mr. Martin. If your clothes catch fire, stop what you're doing. Drop to the ground and roll over and over until you smother the flames. Catch fire? Jessica had never been so worried in her life. Stop, drop, and roll, repeated Mr. Martin. Let's all say it three times. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll, chanted the class. All except Jessica. Her worries had twisted her tongue into a big knot. When Jessica got home, she made her family have a fire drill. Then she rechecked all the electrical cords, tested all the batteries in all the smoke alarms, and made double sure that there were no matches lying around. 
Afterward, Jessica felt a little better, but she still couldn't get Mr. Martin's words from her class right. Stop, slop, and troll. Mop, pop, and bowl. Then the harder Jessica tried, the worse she did. But she went to sleep feeling a little better. At least she knew what to do if there was a fire during the night. Then on Thursday, disaster struck. Mr. Martin asked Jessica to demonstrate stop, drop, and roll at the assembly the next day. Why me? thought Jessica. On the bus home, she tried to practice the words. Stop, flop, and roll. Flop, mop, and stroll. Stop, pop, and hold. But they kept coming out wrong. Jessica was so worried about the assembly that she couldn't even enjoy Tom's birthday party. Stop, drop, and mole. Slop, drop, and hole. Plop, mop, and stroll, she muttered to herself. Because of all her muttering, she didn't even notice when Mom brought in the cake. It had seven big candles on it. Six were for Tom's birthday, and one was for him to wish on. And just as Tom leaned over to blow them out, Jessica looked up and saw fire. <gasps> Stop, drop, and roll, she screamed. Immediately, Tom stopped blowing and dropped to the floor. But before he rolled, Jessica saw that Tom wasn't on fire at all. Jessica's worries had gotten the best of her. She was so embarrassed. False alarm, said Dad. Phew, said Mom. You gave me quite a scare. I'm sorry, said Jessica, but I thought... You thought quickly, interrupted Dad. That's good, because it's better to be safe than sorry. Besides, added Laura, you finally said it right. And that was the truth. Jessica had said the words right. And now that she had, she was confident that she'd never forget any of the fire safety rules she had learned that week. And you know what? She never did. There she is. Stop, drop, then roll. That's very important. I really enjoyed that story. You know, firefighters work hard all day and all night too. Sometimes they get very sleepy. And even when they're sleeping at the firehouse, they can get a call to come and put out a fire. I have five firefighters here who are ready to do that. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right, let's pretend they're all at the fire station and they're all very, very sleepy. <gasps> Five brave firefighters sleeping in a row. Ring goes the bell and down one goes. How many are left? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four brave firefighters sleeping in a row. Ring goes the bell and down one goes. Hmm, how many are there now? One, two, Three brave firefighters sleeping in a row. Ring goes the bell and down one goes. One, two to go. Two brave firefighters sleeping in a row. Ring goes the bell and down one goes. One brave firefighter sleeping in a row. Ring goes the bell and down one goes. Do you know what I noticed about this firefighter? She's a lady firefighter, which is interesting because my next song is about a man firefighter. Did you know that you can grow up to be a firefighter whether you're a boy or a girl? It doesn't matter. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. Good night, lady firefighter. This next song is called Fireman, Fireman, Turn Around. Are you ready? Here we go. There's my fireman, he's all ready. Fireman, fireman, turn around. Fireman, fireman, touch the ground. Fireman, fireman, drive the truck. Fireman, fireman, don't get stuck. Fireman, fireman, hurry to the fire. Fireman, fireman, spray the water higher. Fireman, fireman, give a shout. Fireman, fireman, now the fire's out. Hooray! I'm going to sing that song again. Can you join me at home? Here we go. 
Fireman, fireman, turn around. Fireman, fireman, touch the ground. Fireman, fireman, drive the truck. Fireman, fireman, don't get stuck. Fireman, fireman, hurry to the fire. Fireman, fireman, spray the water higher. Fireman, fireman, give a shout. Fireman, fireman, now the fire's out. Hooray! Good job, fireman. One more song about pretending to be firefighters. Here we go. In this song, we're going to sing it at the regular speed. Then we're going to sing it a second time. We're going to pretend we have to move very, very quickly to put out the fire. Here we go. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Ding, 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 ding. Except we can't move that slowly. We have a fire to put out, so let's sing it faster this time. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Ding, 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 ding. Whew! Being a firefighter can really wear you out. I'm exhausted. I guess it's time to sing our goodbye song. Thank you for joining us today to learn all about fire safety. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye, give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends, toodaloo. Thanks for listening and make sure to join us again tomorrow for another great virtual story time. Bye-bye.